Have you ever been on site with a client and run into this? Mm. You're trying to send customer statements, mm -hmm. but they need to go to a different email address than what's on the customer record. Yeah, I've seen that. And like, no matter what you try, yeah. Acumatic, it just keeps switching it back. You just can't seem to override it. It's so frustrating. It can be a real pain. Well, we've got uh, Solman here today. All right. And he is a functional consultant with Dana Solutions. <laughs> That's right. And he has got a super simple solution to this problem. I think you'll like it. Uh, Solman has five years of experience in the ERP world. So he's seen a lot of these little Acumatica quirks. I've picked up a few things along the way. And the secret to this email override is the billing contact type. That's it. So how does something so simple get overlooked? Well, you know, it's funny. Sometimes the most obvious solutions are the ones we miss. Yeah. You get so focused on the problem that you don't see the simple answer right in front of you. So what's the key here? What are ah. missing? The trick is to understand how Acumatica prioritizes contacts for communication Good. and once you get that it's not even a hack it's just using the system's built-in flexibility okay so walk us through a time when you had to use this solution oh yeah so i had this client and they were so frustrated they were about to pull their hair out in there they wanted to send these statements to their accounting department right but no matter what we tried acumatica kept using the primary contacts email the wrong one yep and then it hit me we needed to look at the billing contact type section in the customer's profile. So simple. Yeah, I know, let's right? Go. And what did you do? So we went in and unchecked the active box for the default contact. Okay. And then we just activated the contact for their accounting department. Okay. Saved the changes and bam, statements were going to the right place. That is brilliant. I can't believe it's that simple. I know, right? So were your clients happy with this solution? Oh, they were thrilled. Once they saw how easy it was, they were so relieved. Yeah. They could finally control their statement routing without having to call me every time something changed. That's a win. And you know what's crazy? What? I've seen consultants spend hours writing custom code to fix this. When all they needed was this checkbox. Exactly. That's amazing. So this active checkbox is more powerful than it looks. So it's not just for billing. Nope. It affects all sorts of stuff in Acumatica. Really? Yeah, if you understand how contact types and that active status impact different modules, mm -hmm. it can save you so much trouble. So this is what sets the good consultants apart from the rest. Definitely. Sometimes a fresh perspective can make all the difference. And speaking of fresh perspectives, if anyone out there is hitting a wall with Acumatica, they should check out Tayana Solutions. You work with them, right? I do. And they are experts in all things Acumatica implementation, customization support, you name it. They're the biggest Acumatica partner out there, aren't they? Largest services partner. That's right. What's great about them? Well, they're committed to solving problems quickly and efficiently. Okay. I've even seen them help out other on-site consultants who are stuck. That's awesome. They're real lifesavers. So for our listeners, if you are struggling with Acumatica, definitely reach out to Tiana Solutions. You won't regret it. And their phone number is 678-910-2774. Give them a call. This whole thing with the active checkboxes got me thinking. Oh, yeah. What other Acumatica features that seem simple right. might actually be way more powerful than we realize? Hmm. That's a great question. Maybe they could even solve some of those really complex problems we run into. I bet there are tons of hidden gems in Acumatica just waiting to be discovered. Something to think about next time you're in the system. Definitely. Always be on the lookout. And that wraps up our deep dive for today. Until next time. See ya. Bye.